we're helping you understand football and your man, the jerseys and t-shirts that will have you looking stylish on the sidelines, plus delicious food you can make for your next football party. Good morning and welcome to Life Love Shopping. I'm Andrea Jackson. And I'm Michelle Yarn. And today is our man girl <laughs> show. Yes, it is. It's all about football, but from a woman's perspective. From good game day food to the hottest players and sporty team fashion and accessories, we've got the Football 101 for you. Starting with a couple of stats, women make up more than 40% of NFL fans, and the women participating in fantasy football has nearly doubled. Need more proof women are turning into power players when it comes to football fandom? Check this out. The NFL scored a 125% increase in women's merchandise from 2010 to 2011. Side note for marketers, women are also more likely to connect with brands on social networking sites like Twitter and Facebook. In fact, about 73% of all women who regularly visit these platforms are devoted followers of brands. Touchdown NFL. Oh yeah, and women control about 73% of the $5.9 trillion spent in the U.S. marketplace. Now let's talk about football season and your relationship. Here are some ways to not fumble with your guy from our friends at galtime.com. First, know this too shall pass. Remind yourself the season does come to an end, so treat yourself to a reward while you wait it out. The phrase, it's just a game, is the absolute worst thing you could possibly say to your man. Was Michael Jackson just a singer? Guys don't get many opportunities to unleash their raw emotions, so be supportive and keep the nachos flowing ladies and do your thing there is no better opportunity for girl time just know guys will say yes to pretty much anything while they are glued to the tv and if you can't beat them buy a jersey learn a few rules and enjoy the game as the saying goes a couple who watches football together stays together i'm not that you know I don't have that many bad feelings about football. I no, think it's kind of fun. It's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, have a good time joining the party. Yeah, it's a lot quicker than some of the other sports out there. So at least it's fast paced and you can have some yes. fun with it, you know. But you cannot support your team without some stylish gear. The items available are much better than wearing a double XL jersey, starting with this Nike V neck t shirt. Features a flattering feminine cut and a jersey style design, or even throw on this big logo tank for warmer climates. Show off your love for your favorite player in this t shirt with their name and number on the back. This is the 47 brand. They make men and women's gear from hoodies to hats and jackets. It has more of a vintage feel with subtle logos. Soft t-shirts and cute ski hats for colder weather have cool old school team logos. Check out actress Alyssa Milano's line for the NFL called Touch. The t-shirts are super trendy with the team name on front and the logo on the back. Plus the long sleeve shirts will keep you warm or strut your stuff on the sidelines in the hooded sweatshirt and tank top outfit. You can also go all out with team centric accessories starting with these shoes by HerStar.com. Check out the Saints stilettos and the cowboy <laughs> color pumps and they have all different colors for your team to choose from. And for the winter, they have boots that look like a football, plus these super stylish fringe boots in Packers colors. Right. Those are pretty cool. Or you can head to Etsy.com for football-themed jewelry items from Broncos and Bears bracelets, to Steelers custom made necklaces, even a Bucks bottle cap earrings. There's something for every team and accessories can either dress up your team spirit or make a more subtle statement. No team spirit is lost here. Check out this Bears themed makeup bag Cute. and get ready to receive compliments on this San Diego Chargers hoodie messenger bag. If you want something dressier, you can try this Cleveland Browns bowler bag purse or even the stylish Falcons quilted wristlet, which is a really good companion now, for game day. I, I got to say, I think the Steelers have one of the coolest logos yeah, in, yeah. in the league. The yeah. colors aren't bad, too. No, I love it. It's very <laughs> cool. Now, if you plan on heading to the stadium for a live game, there's more to eat than just a hot dog and some popcorn. A lot of stadiums offer some great gourmet food options. At Century League Field, where the home team is the Seattle Seahawks, you can order a salmon BLT. It's made with applewood smoked bacon, lettuce, tomato, and wild Alaskan sockeye salmon. At Cowboys Stadium, home to the Dallas Cowboys, you can order their specialty green chili Kobe burger. It's real Kobe beef. Need we say any more? At the Edward Jones Dome, where the home team is the St. Louis Rams, you can order beef ravioli. Now here's their special twist. It's fried, topped with marinara, and sprinkled with Parmesan cheese. At Everbank Field, home to the Jacksonville Jaguars, pan-seared mahi 
mahi is on the menu board at the Mercedes Benz Superdome where the New Orleans Saints go marching on. Alligator sausage po boys are the featured item. The sandwich is a bayou take on traditional tailgating. At MetLife Stadium, home of the New York Jets, Nana Fusco's meatballs are a must. They're made from a combination of beef, veal, and pork. The meatballs are braised for almost four hours after being baked. And at Raymond James Stadium, where Tampa Bay Buccaneers call home, lechon asado is the specialty. It's shredded roast pork served with a side of black beans and yellow rice. Michelle? Now let's say you need to cook up an entire meal at home for a football party. We have some great ideas and with us in the Craft Made LG Kitchen is Katie Jazowitz. She is a home cook, recipe developer, and food blogger from katiescucina.com. Hi. Hi. Thanks, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So today we have all these different great options when you're hosting a football party at okay. home. Let's start with the dips here. Yes, yeah. So you need dip whenever you're watching football. Absolutely. This is a great quick and easy dip you can make anytime, um, even like the um, day before or the morning of. It is, um, you'll use your food processor, mm -hmm. you'll use a can of um, rinsed and drained artichoke heart, some Parmesan cheese, a little olive oil, a sweet mini red bell pepper, and some Tuscan seasoning. And this is a nice spin on artichoke dip without it being all creamy and heavy. I don't see yes, any mayonnaise here exactly. or anything. Exactly, yeah, it's a, it's a much lighter version. And it's even gluten free. So if you have Perfect. friends and family that have a gluten allergy, they can indulge on this dip as well. Awesome. Now here for the main course, yes. I love this idea you have of doing a flatbread pizza bar. Tell us how yes. that works. Yeah. So basically you do all the prep work beforehand okay. and then you lay out a wide variety of different toppings. I have some chopped spinach, some sliced um, portobello mushrooms, some caramelized onions. Mm. We have grilled sausage and peppers, even sun dried tomatoes and artichoke hearts. I would not have thought of that. Yeah, so basically your uh, guest will take a flatbread. They will put whatever toppings on here. I have um, a grape tomato sauce. It's just sa sa it's sauteed with some olive oil and some garlic. Mm -hmm. um, put that on. Um, we have a, a garlic and herb cheese spread that I love to do when I, when I want like a white pizza version. Sure. Put all your toppings on. Your guests can either pop them in the oven or on the grill for just a couple minutes. And it's a great alternative for picky eaters because you don't have yes, to stress over, you're not worried. over who likes what and who has what allergies. There is an option here for everyone. And a thing I really love about this is you as the host get to be out of the kitchen actually enjoying the yes. game and you're not stuck prepping everything. Exactly, exactly. I, that, I love to entertain but I hate to be in the kitchen and stuck sure. there the whole time. Um, so doing a bar of any sorts, whether it's a taco bar or the flatbread pizza bar, mm -hmm. is a great alternative. And I bet for that. the kids have a lot of fun with that too. Exactly, yeah, because it's interactive. They can build their own, and then it makes them want to eat it because sure. they cooked it. Right. <laughs> now we have to talk about dessert. These yeah. rice crispy treats look a little bit different to me. What did you do yeah. for them? <laughs> so these are mint chocolate chip rice crispy treats. It's oh. kind of a spin on the traditional. Um, a quarter teaspoon of mint extract, a little goes a long way. You don't want to put a lot in there. Thank you for telling um, us that because I may have dumped a couple of tablespoons. No, 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 no. <laughs> a little goes a long way. Um, you can add the green dye in if, if you're okay with, with using dyes um, just to make it a little um, fun and uh, put it in the pan and sprinkle it with some mini chocolate chips and you can serve it up to your guests and if you have kids um, mm -hmm. at your football party you can go ahead and put it on a stick for them because kids love eating items on a stick. Anything on a stick is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> all really easy ideas, Katie. Thank you so yeah. much. And don't worry, we will have all of these recipes on our website, lifeloveshopping.com. Andrea? Michelle, save me one of those Rice Krispie treats. I will. <laughs> uh, what goes better with football than barbecue? Finding the perfect sauce can be daunting. Not anymore, thanks to our executive producer and amateur foodie, Kyan Lewis. She found the one in today's Foodie Find. <laughs> Grandma Izetta's Kansas Roadhouse Barbecue is a not too spicy, not too sweet sauce with a backstory. In the 1930s, Izetta bought a roadhouse in Russell, Kansas, and along with it, its famous barbecue recipe. The recipe alone cost 150 bucks, which amounts to $2,300 today. Izetta even put up her china as collateral. The restaurant closed in the 50s, but the barbecue sauce remained a family secret. In her will, Grandma bequeathed the recipe to her only child. Her daughter, Hathaway, kept it under lock and key until she finally shared it with her son, Jonathan. Today, Jonathan makes and sells the sauce online. He even delivers it by bike in Huntington Beach, California. Jonathan's still guarding the family secret, but he did share instructions for his tasty recession roast. You can get it on lifeloveshopping.com. So who are the 
of women supporting their hubbies yeah. on the sidelines. Find out after the break. Also understanding football and your man, a girl's guide to football 101 is coming up next. And they make it down and dirty on the football field, but these guys sure clean up yes. very nice. We're sharing our picks for favorite football players turned cover models. Check out Patriots QB Tom Brady's sexy shoot for V-Man magazine. He is gorgeous. Welcome back to Life Love Shopping. It wouldn't be football season without tailgating, right? Kelly Blue Book just released its list of top vehicles for throwing the best pregame party in the parking lot. The top tailgater for this season is the 2012 Ram 1500 pickup. It has a huge full size bed and the option for a cargo box management system that can hold up to 240 wow. cans <laughs> of your favorite beverages, adult and non adult. <laughs> oh, and the underfloor bins and a Wi Fi system also help too. I'll say, taking second place is the 2012 Ford F 150. Plenty of space to party in the bed of this truck. In fact, it's the best selling vehicle in the country, which could make your ride the most popular in the parking lot. Okay, and then we've got the 2012 Honda Ridgeline that's rounding out the top three tailgating vehicles thanks to a drainable in bed trunk <laughs> that can be loaded with ice and used as a giant cooler. And its clever tailgate can swing out for easy access to the bed area or flip down for convenient seating. Mm -hmm. The GMC Yukon and Ford Flex take spots four and five, and that is thanks to top-of-the-line speaker systems, extra space, and options like a built-in refrigerator. Nice, I like that. <laughs> Don't understand why your man gets so worked up about his football team or what a touchdown is? Rachel Kay is here to help. Welcome class. Are you lost or confused when it comes to football? Does your man just disappear on weekends to watch his beloved team? Well, I'm here to help you understand how your man's mind works so you can spend time with him now through Super Bowl Sunday. Any questions? Oh, who do we root for? Well, if you're a sports fanatic, you have all rights to root for your favorite team. If you're completely clueless, always root for his team, never the opposing. And make it a point to find out which team that is before the game starts. So when should you talk? That's a great question. First up, there are four quarters in a game. Think like four seasons of shopping, spring, summer, fall, and winter. And they run 15 minutes long, but can go longer. So if there's a timeout, you can ask a simple question like, do you need another beer, honey? And your best bet, of course, is halftime. You have 20 minutes to get in whatever you need. And keep in mind, the game never ends in a tie, so it can run into overtime. Your best bet, not to plan anything important after a game. Okay, um, how do I tell if a team is doing well? Well, that's of course going to be based on the score of the game. Let's start with a touchdown. Those are worth six points. Think like a sex touchdown in the bedroom. He'll sound just like that. There's also the extra point kick, and that's worth one point. It will resemble his enthusiasm for giving his mom a kiss on the cheek. And lastly, the field goal. It's worth three points. The excitement level will resemble some sound of that of making it to third base. And if you just can't stand sports, ladies, what better time to hit the mall and shop for a brand new pair of shoes? And you can tell him during the game because he probably won't even notice. Go team. <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> to play or not to play fantasy football at work, that is the question. And according to a new study, your bosses or at least your company's HR people agree playing fantasy football in the office can actually be good for you. CGNC conducted a survey of human resources professionals from around the country. About a fifth of them said they block access to sports and fantasy football websites, but 46% said they don't care if their employees play as long as they can maintain that workload. However, fantasy football is costing employers billions thanks to lost time at work. Despite the cost of lost productivity, the research firm swears the effects of fantasy football are merely a blip on the economic radar. Quote, employers will not see any impact on their bottom line, and for the most part, business will proceed as usual. So what's the verdict? Let your fantasy football flag fly. Why not? <laughs> well, look no further than the Players Wives website to find out more about the women behind the men. Here's a list of the NFL wags. 
stands for wives and girlfriends. Okay, we'll start with Broncos QB Peyton Manning. He is married. His wife Ashley. They've been married since 2001. Ashley was introduced to him by a next door neighbor the summer before Manning went off to college. Peyton and Ashley have twins, a boy and a girl. Dallas QB Tony Romo dumped Jessica Simpson and married the former Miss Missouri Candace Crawford. Yes, that is the sister of Gossip Girls Chase Crawford. <gasps> yes. They were married last May and welcomed their first baby in April. And it seems as though the only real points Jets QB Mark Sanchez is scoring this season is with his new girlfriend, Eva Longoria. Yes, ladies, Marky Mark is off the market. As the most eligible NFL QB, well, we've got that bachelor for you. That title goes to Cam Newton, still single and looking, but gold diggers need not apply. The Carolina Panthers says meeting genuine people these days is rare, and the 23-year-old admits to keeping a wall up to protect his brand. So who are the highest paid players in the NFL? We're going to tell you who next. And speaking of Cam Newton, we've been sharing our picks for favorite football players turned cover models. So check him out, Carolina Panthers QB Cam Newton on the cover of GQ. Prospecting and keeping up with trends to raise funds for nonprofits takes a lot of time and manpower. So here to talk about some of the ways nonprofits can raise more money to solve social issues is Let's Talk Business, Carolyn and Addison. Good morning, you two. Good morning, morning, Andrea. So how can consultants help nonprofits increase their funding? Uh, help them develop an impact statement, strengthen their brand identity through public relations, media relations, social media. Um, also help them with research, management training, technical assistance. And consultant bring a great deal of uh, resources to that relationship, their partnerships. They know exactly where to go fish for the money. Uh, they know where the, they have relationships with foundations and people within corporate America. They know where the pond is deep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, some of the ways nonprofits can raise more money? Well, so one of the weak areas is sometimes they don't develop a good impact statement. So they don't talk about exactly what they do in regards to solving issues. They want to engage their board into fundraising. Also, using the right technology is important. Sure. And of course, in today's environment, a lot of uh, nonprofits are raising monies online. And our guest today uh, is Daniel Cole with the Huffington Post, and he provides a wonderful example. It's a nationwide initiative called Job Raising. It's a wonderful opportunity for them to get involved with fundraising and also help create jobs. Well, now joining us via Skype is Daniel Coe from the Huffington Post. Dan, welcome. Please tell us more about Job Raising. Andrea, Carol, and Addison, good morning. You know, the Huffington Post is so excited to announce the Job Raising Challenge in partnership with the Skoll Foundation, CrowdRise, and knowledge partner McKinsey and Company. And what we're trying to do is to really shine the light on job creating nonprofits, anything from a job training nonprofit to one that supplies suits for people who can't afford them. Help them gain exposure and also to raise money. So from October 1st, November 15th, at jobraising.com, we're accepting any applications from nonprofits in this space. And then from Inauguration Day to March 1st, we'll be giving those selected nonprofits exposure and promoting them heavily through all of our channels in the Huffington Post to help them scale, to help them get the resources they deserve, and to really help bring solutions to the jobs crisis. All right, Daniel Coe from the Huffington Post, thank you so much. What is Let's Talk Business Best Pick of the Week? Well, our business best pick this week is Formovi. It's an application that aims to make you know, a very tedious process, filling out forms a little bit faster, a little bit easier. So the cool thing about it is you can make custom forms, or you can choose from any of their pre-made forms. And you can just share that form throughout your organization. So it keeps track of your information. You can then export it into a variety of different formats, PDFs, uh, Excel sheets, Word sheets. And the other cool thing is you can actually add audio to it. You can capture video. You can capture GPS information wow. so you know where the information is coming from. And you can even sketch. Wow. And it's available for the iPhone, the iPad, Android phones, and okay. Android pads. Thanks, you two. For more information, head to letstalkbiz.biz or lifeloveshopping.com. So who are the highest paid players in the NFL? Well, eight of the top ten are defensive ends or quarterbacks. Dwight Freeney, the veteran pass rusher from the Indianapolis Colts, leads the pack with $19 million. Coming in a close second is Denver defensive end Elvis Dumerville with $18.9 million. And his new QB, Peyton Manning, makes $18 million a year as a Bronco. St. Louis Rams, Sam Bradford, and San Diego Charger, Phillip Rivers, round out the top five. That is quite See, a lot of money. This top five surprised me because you think it would be more like the Tom Brady's. And I right. mean, Peyton Manning is in the top five, but, um, you know, some of those guys that play the top yeah. of position. 19 million dollars come on 
on. Well, I mean, if you think about it too, their career is Very so short-lived. Short. Their bodies are getting super beat up. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe it's worth it that they They've get got all their money. chance to make their get 19 on. million in a couple of years, and get hopefully they invest out. well. Yeah. Head over to NASCAR and be in the pit crew. There you go. <laughs> I've seen a lot of um, former football players end up going and doing that because they're strong enough and quick enough. Or become a TV host. Yeah. Hey, we're here. <laughs> like Come Michael Strahan. Sure. <laughs> okay. Well, if you've ever wondered how much the team spirit makes, we're going to tell you about the cheerleaders because according to the richest.org, they're practically working for free. Yeah. Per game, That's NFL true. cheerleaders are paid about $50 to $75. That's a season total of anywhere between $500 to about $750. And some make a monthly salary ranging from $200 to $1,000, but they can make extra money by participating in paid public appearances. And here's some fun facts for you. A former San Francisco 49ers Gold Rush cheerleader actress, Terry Hatcher, she made $390,000 per episode on Desperate Housewives. And here's another fun fact. Cheerleaders are prohibited from fraternizing with the players. Yeah, they say that I in the rule book, why. but you know, I don't think that's <laughs> true. I have a feeling some of that action happens on the sidelines. Yeah. I'm just saying. And yeah. I know it's a lot of money, but I think they do it for the fun of it. A lot of them have other jobs. Well, sure, the it's prestige. Not their soul. I think they, they think that there might be an opportunity for them to maybe mm -hmm. further that into a reality show or, or television. Or maybe or, like J-Lo or Paula Abdul. They all yeah. started as dancers exactly. or cheerleaders, so you know. That Why could be not? Fun. Sure, Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. They're the most famous cheerleaders in the world, right? It comes yeah. with a little prestige. Yeah. Well, here at Life Love Shopping, we want to connect with you. When we're not on TV, you can stay in touch by liking our Facebook page and see behind the scenes photos. You can follow and tweet us on Twitter at Life Love Shop. Thank you so much for joining us today. We will see you next time and enjoy that football. Yeah, we're going to leave you with our last pick for favorite football players turned cover models New England Patriots tight end Rob Gronkowski. Dares to go bear. Hello. Hello.